Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my messy countertop. Um, I had received, I bought a die from Tonic Studio and I wanted to play with it, but I wanted to share other things that were similar, but for some reason my stuff has been delayed. But I did get one of them in and I wanna share it with y'all. And the reason I have all these little scraps is because with this particular die, that's all you really need is just a bunch of little scraps. I'm not having to cut out um, new uh, sheets of paper or anything like that. I can use my little mini impress. I don't need a big die cutting machine. Um, so this, I mean, you could take it, whether it be to your kitchen table or wherever you work, but it is just some small dies. And if you like making... Uh, small embellishments this would definitely be for you I personally have a lot of trouble making really small embellishments but I do like small embellishments so I want to share my haul with y'all let me stop talking and share my haul okay I ordered a bundle set from Tonic Studio and um, it is a uh, purse or a Mother's Day. I think it was called a Mother's Day bundle, but it's uh, small purses and they're tiny. So I have been playing. So some of them are missing from here. So you get uh, five different. Well, you get three different purses, one coin coin purse, and then a backpack die. I love it, you guys. I did play with it already. So you, there's a couple that are missing here, and I'll share them with you in a minute. But this one up here happens to be the backpack. Here's a coin purse. And what I love about these is when you take these out, they're separate pieces. So I could do them in any color that I want to because they are separate pieces so i can do the coin silhouette in one and then the the detail die i can do it in another one it even has look at that the little uh closure for up here that i could do it in a different color same thing with the backpack here's the backpack it has the silhouette it has the inner piece and here is the flap to it and the flap itself has the silhouette and then the center piece and it even has a teeny tiny zipper I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got a teeny tiny zipper. Like, there's there's my finger, so you can more or less tell that that is tiny. Here's like a clutch. Here's another handbag. And then these right here are different closures or buckles for the handbag. These are uh, straps to this handbag. And then here's a chain also. For the handbag so you can design them any way you want and I did put some together that's why a couple of them are missing and I will share them with you I know it looks like a lot but it's not uh, right here it shows you like these three right here are the same handbag but they're showing you inspiration uh, photos on how they put them together so that way you can put them together see right there they added the little zipper to there so you can mix and match these dies these two right here are the backpack it's the same exact die they just decorated it differently these two are the same ones but they decorated differently and then the little coin purse is the same one but they decorated them differently um, these right here is the clutch Again, they decorated differently. And then here's the other handbag that's decorated differently. So I played with this one and I played with this one on top. I hope you can see that. So I played with these two right here. And I'm going to share with you what they look like. But first, let me uh, finish sharing the bundle with you. So this came in there. And then you, it had sentiments. So there's a sentiment that says, Happy Mother's Day, best mom ever, because that's the way they say it over there. You know, this company is from the UK. But you could cover that U up with an O, or you could cover it up with a heart. And then right here, it says, you don't look a day over fabulous. I love that. And then this one is my favorite. It's all about the bag. I used to have this thing about handbags. I don't anymore, but I mean, I like them, but I just don't buy as many as I used to. And 
I'm a little bit more, I'm going to say cheap because I used to buy expensive handbags and I don't anymore because I would rather buy a die. I'm going to be honest with you guys. And what I love about these that they have the silhouettes and then they have the detail sentiment. This one has a frame and it has the, um, the silhouette, the detail frame, and then the words. And in order to get the words cut out, you do have to use the detail frame with the little bar that has the letters on it to cut out completely. So here's what they look like. I'll share this one with you. So if I was to cut uh, just the words by itself, it wouldn't cut out completely from whatever piece of paper I cut it from. So you do need to use this filigree uh, or this fancy uh, frame to cut it out completely. And then here is all the words. I mean, I, they're not real big. I will, like this one, Happy Mother's Day measures about three inches, the detail one. And then the, the silhouette is about three and one eighth inches wide. And in the height, the detail one is about, I'm going to say two and one eighth inch. And then with the silhouette, it's two and a quarter inch. So they're not very big. And this is bigger than I think this one and this one. And maybe even about the same as the frame. They're not very big. They're, they're perfect. And I just, I only played with this one so far. So I will share with you what it looks like cut out. I love that they have these little folders that the dies slide into. And then you got, you would get with the bundle, uh, two background dies, which you can use uh, to cut out like an aperture or just this design on, let's say you're making a box on a lid or a card. And if you don't use the outer piece, then it's not going to cut out completely. But if you use both of them together, then it'll cut it out completely. So the dies are uh, two piece. You get the frame and then you get this one. But you have to use them together if you want to cut it out completely. I believe this is a six by six. Um, nope, a little under. Uh, the inner frame is about, I'm going to say five and three eighths. And it's probably by five and three eighths. And the outer one is about five and five eighths, probably by five and five eighths. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. So it is a square. So that's this one. And this one is called Kaleidoscope Textured Panel Die Set. To me, this looks like a flower, but what do I know? And then you get another one. And this one is called the Daisy and Dots. To me, that's not a daisy. I see a cross. What do you guys see? I see a cross and maybe some rays. That's what I see, but hey, whatever. And this one probably measures the same. Yeah, this one measures the same and it is a square. This would be great for Easter as an Easter back background because, I mean, truthfully, guys, don't those look like crosses or they do to me or maybe because I'm a Christian and everything I see, everything I hear, I'm always thinking about the word of God and and about the Lord that maybe that's just the way my mind sees things. But anyway, that's what came in the, the kit. You, like I said, you would get the two background dies, the purse dies, and then the sentiment dies. I got to put the purse dies back after I'm done, but I'm going to share them with you. So here are, here is the sentiment. Look at how cute that is. It says it's all about the bag. And I did use a pearl ivory uh, silhouette background. And then I did the sentiment with the frame together in a metallic gold foil. And that is the shiny, not the matte. And then I put one of the purses together. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. Look at this little cutie. If you were joining a swap, a fashion swap, or even just an embellishment swap, and you had to make little bitty embellishments, that's tiny, you guys. I'm going to measure it for you. And from the handle or the strap to the edge of the purse, it is two and three quarter inches wide. 
and the height of the purse just the purse is about one and three quarters and it's about eh, about two inches if you measure the bottom of the strap so these are tiny 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 this tassel also comes in the die set and it is fringe but i didn't fringe it up because i only did one sided and because the purse had some little holes there i just added a jump ring to add the tassel to it oh, that's gorgeous oh oh and i'm forgetting the best part let me show you there is something in my handbag there's a little pair of glasses and a lipstick and I did cut them out twice the lipstick once in red and one in gold and I have a matte red uh, foil paper and you know how everybody likes that matte lipstick now so I thought that was perfect for that and then I did the sunglasses in a gold and the dark like a charcoal gray uh, as the lenses and I want you to see the texture it does have a little texture plate that you can use if you want but it's separate so you don't have to use it i hope you guys can see it uh and i opted to use it you guys know i love embossing so that is one of the ones that i used and then the other one that i created oh my gosh they're gorgeous look at this cutie right here look at that guys and it's tiny 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 and this little uh charm right here a circle tag that comes with the die set and this one measures uh, i'm gonna say two and one eighth inch across and the height from the top of the strap to the bottom of the purse it's about two and seven eighths of an inch in height but it's tiny guys i i would consider this a tiny embellishment so there's one and i did them all the same colors but i just did different dangles on them here's another one that i didn't do a dangle i did the bow and the bow comes with it so i cut out two of the silver bows and added them to either side of the strap so there's another one and then i created one more with the tassel and i did cut the tassel out twice so in case it turns it's silver foil on both sides because i don't have a uh, metallic foil paper that's uh, uh double-sided so it's just single-sided and i did put like the corners up on dimension the center closure on dimension and between i did cut it out twice once in black and once in silver and there is dimension in there because i wanted some height and i offset them a little bit so you could see a little bit of the silver here and maybe in the ring right there not too much just a little bit but i love the way these came out look at how gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous so that is the third one that i created nothing but little scraps i pull open the drawer where I, I have a file on my desk like a file drawer and but i don't keep files in it i keep uh pouches or clear bags that hold my scraps and um i just pulled out pieces from there so i could use them and trust me i have a bunch in there so here is this brown one up here i did it in the brown and I had a little piece of that paper when I was working on Scrap Diva's uh, mini album, love mini album, that my friend Jacqueline had gifted me. I had a little scrap of it, so I used it here. I love the way it looks. The brown portion right here is on dimension, and so is this top flap. It's on dimension. Um, but I love it. I absolutely love it. So that's this one right here. And I want to show you that you get the silhouette. So I cut it out in gold and I cut it out in that paper that my friend Jackie had gifted me. So there's the silhouette. And then this portion, I cut it out in brown and it does have the stitching. And then this flap. Now, I cut it out separately, but this back portion right here doesn't cut out. It just leaves a score mark um, so you could definitely put it into your first layer or even your second layer I guess the second layer would be where I would use it because I would want the bottom one to be solid and I could have used this right there 
and it wouldn't have cut out. It would have just left a score mark and it would cut around it. So that's the way you use that. But, you know, when you're first using a die, I didn't pay attention that it was just a score line and not a cutting line. But now I know. Here is that little flap. And this one cuts it out all the way around. That goes here. And then here is the texture plate if you want texture in it. And you would use, you would uh, cut first cut it out like this. And then put this over it and run it again to get the, uh, the texture on the flap. To, I used the wrong buckle. I used this buckle for the closure on it, and I should have used this one, or this is the one they use in the picture. I mean, there's no wrong way of doing it. You use whatever closure you want. But this is the one that's shown on the picture, but I use this one. Here are the little glasses. There's the lipstick. And then here is that buckle that you can see right there. That's the little teeny tiny. I mean, there is my finger. So there is the buckle. So these are gorgeous. Here is the black one. Again, it comes with the silhouette. I cut this one out in silver and I cut it out in black. And then on the black one, I cut off the straps. I cut it out right here where the buckle starts. That's where I cut it. And then it comes with the layering piece that goes here, here, so you can um, cut it in any color that you want. I use cut it in silver. And then these right here are the little corners on either side of the purse. And I cut those in silver. Now, I wanted it to have some open work here. So this die has the little open work for that. And that's I use both of those together to get that open work on that one. Here's the closure. I cut this in black and then I cut this one in silver to make the, the strap that uh, closes on that purse. Here's the little bow. Here's that um, little, you know, sometimes the purses come with a little leather circle tag. Well, that's what this is. And then here is the little teeny tiny tassel for accessories to go on your purse. But that is what I created, you guys. I hope that you like what I created. I'm not sure if it's still available. Uh, there is another purse that I'm waiting for. I will link both of them in the description box. I'm not affiliated with Tonic Studio at all whatsoever as of right now. Um, but I hope to someday be. But I st I'm still going to link them because I want you guys to be able to get this if you really want it. So I'm going to link both of the purses, this set. Plus the other one that I'm waiting for because you're just going to love the other one. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope everyone is having a great Sunday and God bless. Bye.